Mother's Day means so much to me because it's my first time on Stone Mountain. Yeah. When I was a student here at Morehouse in the 80s. They told us never go near Stellville, never to come near Stone Mountain, especially at night. They still, at least they said at that time, they still burned crosses on top of this mountain. So this is my first time coming back here. So I'm just honestly just overwhelmed with just what God is doing to reclaim this mountain for his glory and all that uh, the city of Atlanta, the churches of Atlanta, they come together, you know, to, to see this event come about. I'm blown away by the generosity of the people of Atlanta, the churches, and also the heart of God. I mean, y'all are answering Jesus' prayer and to be a part of this is so overwhelming for me. I'm, I'm blown away, to be honest. Yeah. It's kind of overwhelming. Yeah. We we both went to the top of the hill early this morning. That we was... tried to get up there before any of the millennials yeah. got up there and because I wanted to I wanted to see them ascending the hill. But one of the things that we were talking about up top is it's 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 a kind of a similar picture like with Moses that God told Moses to speak to the rock and bring forth water but in anger he struck the rock and a hundred years ago in anger men struck this rock and it released a curse in the land you know but what's happening right now at one race starting today and I think spreading across the nation is God is now releasing a word that soft we, answer. a soft answer that turns away wrath so we can speak to this rock today and God it's going to bring forth a blessing. That's so good. I agree. And so your guys' story is so compelling. You know, finding out that your family, his family. Yeah. What was your first thought when, yeah. I'm assuming, Billy bought this idea of one race to you and just presented it to you? What was your first thought? Well, you know what? The, the way I we kind of backed into it, Yeah. Uh, the week of the Alton Sterling shooting yeah. and Philando Castile, Later in that week, in my city, Dallas, five police officers were shot and killed. So it was like a month or two later, I wound up in a prayer service with the chief of police who was over those five police officers that were shot. I wound up doing a foot washing with, with that kettle for my family. And it just so happened that that police chief's name is Deputy Police Chief Billy Humphrey. And so... It's a sign. Yeah. So when that happened, Billy reached out to me. He's like, "Will, what's going on?" So I, oh my God, I just made the connection, you know. Yes. I said, just, "I mean, spiritually, he's a watchman, he's a gatekeeper, yes. he's patrolling what God is doing in the spirit over this region as a gatekeeper in Atlanta." So I, I said, "Maybe I just come to Atlanta and wash your feet." So I flew to Atlanta, I washed Billy's feet, I just followed the prophetic storyline, and then he said, "You know what? I know what we're supposed to do." And he tells me about one race. And I was like, we got to bring back. This is amazing. It's going to be powerful. And that's, I think that's probably what's going on with so many people that are here is somehow or another, something has happened in their lives that yeah. the story has and we got led woven to them. into the story. Yeah. yeah. It's all led to us all being together here today. And I think that's what's going on is God's revealing a bigger storyline that he's telling in the nation. And it's one of healing and reconciliation. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, we're so grateful.